Yo, what's up y'all? Today in this tutorial we are doing a blowout 10 fade. McClellan, he has some waves. He got the salt and pepper on top as well. So we got a nice little package shaking up for y'all, okay? Today we are still using that top tier hair club, icy blue foam wrap. Make sure you go cop that. We are also using this tap and go hairline spritz. Make sure you go get that as well. We're also using my nose sting antiseptic, okay? It helps make the face breathe. It helps get rid of all that extra bacteria that's on the hairline and all even on your face, like especially when you're doing like your skin routine in the morning, you can use it for that as well. Hope y'all like this tutorial. Let's get into it, my artists. Let's go. Stay in hustle mode. Got some brand new clothes. Hit them with a pose. Check what I just drove. My car don't test the road. What's up my artist? It's your boy Von Keith the artist checking in again with another top tier hair club haircut. All right, let's get into it. So we're doing a blowout temp fade tutorial or a taper fade, how you like to call it. But first, what we must do, we must cut the hair down. Okay, so we're doing a salt and pepper. So this haircut could be a little difficult because my client, his hair is a lot lighter on top than it is on the sides. It's a lot thick on the sides. So we're starting off with our 18 skip tooth guard just to cut the hair down evenly on top just so it can match the sides. Now we're going to take our 1A detachable blade and then we're going to knock the sides down just so everything can flow and blend a lot smooth, smoothly together. Moving on, now we're going to take our 18 skip tooth once again and we're just going to go up into where we're going, we're going to fade up into where we're going to start fading. So basically all we're doing, we're just prepping, let's say we're prepping the hair for the fading process. And we're also going to deep bulk on the hairline because my client does have curly hair. He does have waves and he has a thick wave on his hairline. So that's the reason why I went against the grain. I didn't go too much into the hair, just enough. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start our first guideline. I always try to start it above the ear. Now, this is that top tier hair club tap and go spritz. Make sure y'all go to top tier hair club .com and cop some of that. Now we're going to go ahead and ball it out the bottom line of the blowout temp fade because we want that temp fade to stand out a lot more and we also want this haircut to last a lot longer as well so we're just screen scrubbing knocking out that back taper real quick with that neck taper should i say Now, when you're dealing with a client that typically has creases in the back of his neck, I just tend to take my comb and I pull up and I make sure I, I get all that extra weight because that can throw off our fades. Now, this is my favorite part of the neck taper, the lineup, okay? This is what makes everything come together. Now, when you're doing a blowout temp fade, you have to make sure that line going around the ear is very tight and it's very crispy because that's what's gonna make your fade pop as well. When you put lines on, when you put lines with the fade, that's what makes a haircut. That's what makes your work stand out. All right, you already know we're going to raise our vertical bars first because we want to keep all the new growth, especially when you have a client come in once a week or at least twice a week. Or let me rephrase that. If you have a client come in weekly or bi-weekly. Now I'm giving you all a close-up angle just to make sure you all can see how I'm doing my lineup process. Look at how my blades are positioned. Look at the angle of my blades, especially when I'm hitting the vertical bar. Like I said, that's another reason why I use my razor first for my vertical bars, because you can get lost. And if you don't see the new growth with your eyes, then those trimmers can cut all that extra new growth off. 
and we're going to follow up with the razor one more time but this is just the first lineup y'all this is the pre lineup before we go into the fade process why because we want to know how our fade is going to come out we want to know where we're going to put our blend at now what we do on one side we must do on the other Sorry, my hand is in the way, y'all. I am left-handed. Shout out to my left-handed barbers out there. There's nothing wrong with the right-handed artists either. All right, let's start this fading process. We're going to start off with my Cocoa Hair Pros with the lever all the way open. And we're going to go ahead and just create that first, that first initial guideline. And we're going to go ahead and fade out that bottom blend. There we go. Let's get to work. Them hands are getting hot. It's a lot of action going on on this fade. Now that is a number one Andy's single magnetic guard. The guard I was using before was a zero single magnetic guard by Andy's as well. Now this is my Coco guards. I tend to use these whenever I want to tighten up my blends, especially on hair like this, because like I said, when you're cutting salt and pepper, it can be a lot different. Now we're going to go ahead and rake out that blend. All right, let's go ahead and lay this hair down with some of that top tier hair club foam wrap. I'm giving y'all both angles because I want y'all to see even when you lay the foam wrap in and it looks white like that, that's okay. The hair is going to soak it up because it's moisturizing the scalp and it's also moisturizing the hair. Now we're going to go ahead and lay it with that rapid wave pomade. You can find these products on toptierhairclub.com, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hit them with the do-rag. Tighten it up. I did hit them with some with a blow dryer. I put it on high heat. Now we're gonna go ahead and trim over the hairline. I'm sorry, over the hair. Now we're gonna hit the hairline one more time just to get those extra wild hairs right before we put on that pencil. This is the Barber Magic Pencil. You can find this pencil on Amazon or you can find it on you can find it on Google. Pretty much every new school barber is using it. I tend to use it just to make my haircut stand out. I, I also use it to make sure my lines are perfectly symmetrical, but I do try to razor them out as much as possible. I don't like to leave my client with that white ashy line or the brown ashy line while they're walking out of my suite. So my process for using the Barber Magic Pencil Line is I, I, I apply the pencil line first, then I razor it out, and then I follow up with my trimmers, and voila! We have magic, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Make sure y'all like this video. Show some love. That is my social media tag name right there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Von Keith is out. Stay in hustle mode. Got some brand new clothes. Hit them with a pose. Check what I just drove. My car don't touch the road.